Oh, some good sleep. Ugh. I don't think I slept for weeks or months or anything that time, but ugh, probably a solid 12 or 14 hours of sleep. You know, exactly what you need for ugh, a growing young man. Ugh, wow. Ooh, I feel so refreshed. Wait a minute. What day is it today? Let me check. Uh, is it Friday? Oh, I think it's Friday! Yes! This is finally the day that Jimbo returns! Yes! Oh, I'm so excited! Ah, uh, Jimbo's been gone for a few weeks now. He's been in New Kelp City. At college. Ugh, college. Ugh, I still don't get why he had to go all the way to New Kelp City. Just to go to school. But, I mean, I guess Jimbo wanted to do a little bit more with his life than just sitting around here playing with me all day. Ah. <sighs> Maybe I should do that sometime. Maybe I should go to college and try to get a degree. Or maybe try to get a job, even. Eh, nah, that sounds like way too much work. Oh, I'd rather just sit here in my rock all day, just chilling and relaxing and hanging out with my friends and not paying for my Krabby Patties. Like a good citizen. Ah, oh, well, let me see. It's probably like, yeah, it's probably like noon at this point, considering how late I usually sleep in. Uh, so Jimbo should be here any time to hang out. I mean, he told me that he was going to come back for today just to hang out with me, and then he was going to go back to school again until probably Christmas time or something, but... Ugh. Ugh, I'm so excited to just hang out with Jimbo again. It's been way too long. <gasps> what the? Who the heck are you? You're not... I mean, I guess it's possible that you're Jimbo, but... Oh, Jimbo, you've really let yourself go, man. College has really done a number on you. I mean, you've grown a mustache and you got white hair. Well, you look so old. Except, no, you can't be Jimbo, right? Uh, there's no way. What's in here? Oh, there's a book. All right, let's see what's going on. Jack, I'm so sorry, but it turns out I have a big exam tomorrow. So I have to stay in New Kelp City and study. No, Jimbo! Oh, so lame. Gotta study for an exam? Oh, you could have done that here while we were hanging out. Ah, uh, well, that's a bummer. However, I didn't want you to be bored, so I asked one of my professors to keep you company. His name is Mr. Fish, and he's here to teach you some math. You could sure use the help. Oh, math? Oh, I thought I was gonna be hanging out with Jimbo, doing jellyfishing and eating Krabby Patties. Instead, he sends one of his teachers here to teach me some math. Oh, well, that's not a good substitute. Sorry for bailing on you last minute, but I hope you can forgive me. I'll return home as soon as I can, so we can continue our usual fun shenanigans. Sincerely, Jimbo. All right, well, I mean, if that's the way it's gotta be, then I guess he's gotta stay in New Kelp City to study for that exam. Oh, well, that's so lame, though. Oh, I was really looking forward to today. I mean, I got up bright and early today just for the occasion. Uh, it's fine then, I guess. I mean, I guess I can go jellyfishing and eat Krabby Patties by myself like I usually do. Uh, all right, well, Jimbo said your name is Mr. Fish, right? Oh, not Mr. Fish. Professor Fish. Okay, Professor Fish. Oh. Or not even Professor Fish or Dr. Fish? Okay, well, you know what? I'll call you Mr. Fish or Dr. Fish or Professor Fish, uh, whatever you want to be called, really. As long as I don't have to do math problems. Please don't make me do math problems. What? Jimbo told you that he really wanted you to teach me some math? Ugh, but please, no. I mean, it's so boring. <laughs> and I don't need to know math. Besides, I mean, I know how to do enough math to know that I want to order, like, 100 Krabby Patties when I go to the Krusty Krab. Isn't that all the math I really need for life? No. I need to know more if I'm going to be a better cit citizen and a, a better part of society. Ah, uh, okay, fine. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for Jimbo. because He's one of my good friends. Ah, uh, all right. Well, what math problems do you have for me? Just the problems in this book? Okay, well, I can do the math problems in this book pretty easily, I bet. Uh, let me see here. Oh, yikes. Oh, no, this is... This looks so complicated and 
Complex? Uh, okay, well, I guess I could give it my best shot. Um, I did go to school once upon a time, way back in the day, and I had to have learned something from all that schooling, right? Okay, uh, first problem. One plus one equals... Okay, well, if I think about it in terms of Krabby Patties, one Krabby Patty plus two cra er, plus another Krabby Patty equals two Krabby Patties, right? Okay, okay, that's gotta be right, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of a hard problem, but I think I got it. Two plus six. All right, two Krabby Patties plus six Krabby Patties equals... Oh, it's... Ah, oh, the numbers are too high now. Um, I think that's probably like nine Krabby Patties. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty close. Uh, 20 minus 11. Uh, I can't even use Krabby Patties anymore to help me. It's just the numbers are too high. Uh, and I haven't done subtraction in so long. Even addition is hard enough, but subtraction? Oh, man. Okay. Um, 20 minus 11 is probably uh, like 2011, I think. Okay, yeah, that sounds right. Uh, four... Oh, what is that symbol again? Oh, it's been too long. I think that's times? Yeah, okay. Four times four um, is... Oh, I know this one. I learned this in school. Yeah. Uh, four times four is one. Because four goes into four one time. Okay, perfect. And now, 30 slash three? Or, no, that's not slash. That's, uh, that's division, right? Yeah. And 30 divided by 3, then, would be, um, I'm pretty sure that's an even thousand, if I do say so myself. Yep, that sounds pretty right. And now, 5,204,899 times 17. Okay, well, clearly the answer is just, uh... Well, it's obviously uh, a high number, I think. I mean, one of the numbers is already really high, so the final answer is probably pretty high. So I'm just gonna put nine 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 uh nine nine. Uh, but I'm probably missing a couple nines. Uh, nine nine, and it's probably a decimal involved too. So point uh nine nine uh how about two? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty right. Okay, okay, Mr. Fish. Or, I'm sorry, Dr. Professor Fish. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this stuff. Math isn't that hard after all. All right, well, there's another page. Let's see what's going on here. 42... Is that an X? Why is there an X in here? This is supposed to be math. Math is supposed to be about numbers, not letters. Okay, it's telling me to find X. 42X minus... 25? Uh, well, if you, uh, if you make that X into Krabby Patties, then 42 Krabby Patties minus 25, uh, well, it can't be, uh, X is already Krabby Patties, so I guess 25 is, like, just 25 Chum Burgers or something? So 42 Krabby Patties minus 25 Chum Burgers, and, oh, I'm getting a headache from all this. Oh, there's not supposed to be letters in math. Oh, what is going on here? Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make some random guesses here because I really have no idea. Okay, um, I think those are all right. Um, all right, Mr. Fish, uh, do you want to check my work? What do you mean it's all wrong? It's all wrong except the first answer I had, one plus one. Okay, so one plus one does equal two, but the rest are all way off, you say? Okay, and... And I'm, I'm not even close on the X problems? Okay, well, I am definitely not a fan of math, especially when they're involving letters into my math. I mean, that's just... That's just tomfoolery, if you ask me. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, thank you for trying to teach me some math, but um, if the day ever comes where I have to go to college for some reason and I have to learn, then I'll learn it. But for right now, I'm just going to relax and uh, hang out. And I'm sorry you came all the way from New Kelp City to teach me math. It was probably a lost cause. But, uh, hey, I mean, you're welcome to stick around, um, hang out. Um, maybe I'll go get you a Krabby Patty at some point, and we could just chill and, you know, do anything other than doing math. Does that sound fun to you? 
Okay, perfect. Yes, I agree. I would have given up on me pretty quickly, too. What the? Who could that be? Oh, maybe it's Jimbo. Maybe this is all a practical joke by Jimbo. Making me think I was going to do some math problems today instead of hanging out with my best bud, Jimbo. Ha! <laughs> oh, Jimbo, you prankster. I know you're there, Jimbo. No sense in uh, trying to keep it a secret. I know you're out there. Well, what the? You're not Jimbo. Uh, who the heck are you? Hi. Uh, are you Jack Star? Well, yes, that is me, but who are you? Oh, wait, I get it now. Oh, is it Halloween? Oh, it is October, but... Oh, I'm gonna be honest with you, kid. I'm so sorry, but I totally forgot that it was Halloween. Oh, I didn't get any candy or anything, and... Uh, you do have a really good costume, though. I didn't even know they had costumes that look exactly like me at the costume shop, but... Oh, you're looking very sharp, but... Uh, I'm sorry, I completely forgot about Halloween, so I, I don't have any candy for you, if that's what you're here for. No, um, it's not Halloween yet. I just... Well, I think I'm your son. What? My... My son? Well, well, what makes you think that? I mean, you really think that I'm your dad? I can't be a dad. I mean, I'm practically still a kid myself. I mean, I can't even do math problems right. And most dads should be able to do math, I feel like. Uh... Why do you think that? Well, it's possible I am. See, I've never known my dad before. I've been an orphan all my life, bouncing around between homes. Whenever I asked about my parents, they would always just say that they didn't know. Apparently, when I was just born, I was left on the doorstep to the orphanage. Wow. Um, well, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear all that. I mean, that's a really sad story, and I feel for you, but... I mean, what makes you think I'm your long-lost dad? Well, a few years ago, there was talk around town that someone that looked just like me had just moved here. They said he came from New Kelp City, and that he was some loser starfish that lived under a rock. Okay, well, first of all, um, if the person you're talking about is me, because I did move from New Kelp City, I am a starfish that lives under a rock, but I feel like the word loser is probably a bit harsh. I, uh, I don't agree with that. But, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm getting off topic here. So, basically what you're saying is, you think that because I look so much like you, I must be your dad? Yes. I mean, it's entirely possible I'm wrong, but you're the only person in Bikini Bottom that's ever looked anything like me. So, for the past few years, I've been dreaming of one day meeting you. Then, just yesterday, the people at the orphanage were busy doing laundry, and I decided that it would be a perfect time to escape and come see you. I slipped out using some of my stealth skills, asked around town to find out where you lived, then ran right here. Well, honestly, I mean, I'm touched that you came to find me, but I really think you're mistaken. I mean, I just don't see how it's possible that I have a kid. I mean, the way that it works with starfish is, I mean, a male starfish has to find, uh, you know, a girl starfish and... Then, you know, you gotta be together for a while, and then at some point, the male or the female starfish will lay some eggs. But, I mean, that can't be possible. I mean, I, I've been with a few starfish, but, I mean, I've never gotten that close with any girl starfish. Uh, to have any eggs, I mean, no, it just doesn't make any sense. You're probably right. Maybe you're not actually my dad. Except, now that I think about it, I used to hear stories about certain starfishes laying eggs in their sleep after eating too many Krabby Patties. That's probably just fake, though. Unless... Wait, do you eat a lot of Krabby Patties? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I do eat Krabby Patties from time to time, you know, occasionally. Then maybe it is true! Maybe one night you ate so many Krabby Patties that you laid an egg in your sleep. It's possible, right? Uh, I guess it's possible. I mean, if you really can lay eggs just from having too many Krabby Patties, then... Uh, I guess it's more than likely, but... But no, wait, the, the timeline doesn't add up. I mean, you look like you're like, what, 9 or 10 years old, maybe? And I've only been in Bikini Bottom, where they have Krabby Patties for a few years now. 
So, I would have had to have had you when I was back in New Kelp City. So, no, it just... It, it doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't work. Did I say Krabby Patties? Oh, well, I meant to say Kelp Burgers. You know, the popular burgers that they have in New Kelp City. Did you eat a lot of those when you lived there? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh my goodness. Maybe... Maybe you actually are my son. I mean, if that's possible that I could have had you from eating too many kelp burgers... Oh, I used to eat those things like crazy. Not as much as Krabby Patties, but almost just as much. Wow. I, I guess... I guess it's possible that you're my son. Uh, well, quick, uh, tell me, what do you like to do? Well, most days I usually just sleep or play with my friends. Oh, but sometimes we get to go out to eat at the Krusty Krab. And I always order tons of Krabby Patties. They are my favorite food, after all. Oh my goodness. You usually like to just sleep or play with friends? And you mentioned that you have stealth skills? And your favorite cr food is Krabby Patties? Oh my god. It all adds up. You are my son. Oh my, no way. Oh, I can't believe it. I actually have a son. And it's you! And all these years, I never knew! You were just out there, waiting for me. And I was waiting for you, even though I never knew it. Oh, this is all so exciting. I I really can't believe this. Oh, this is such great news! Oh, well, uh, please, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting so caught up in all this excitement that I haven't even asked what your name is yet. My name is Pat, but sometimes people make fun of me by calling me Rick. Ah, Pat. I can relate, buddy. Back when I was in school, people used to call me Zack Star. Ugh, Zack. It's clearly with a J, not a Z. Ugh, people always used to make fun of me about that all the time, so... I get where you're coming from. Well, anyway, uh, now that I know your name, and now that I know that you're my son, and uh, I'm your dad... Well, what are we doing just standing around here? Let's go do some father-son activities! I've always wanted to do father-son activities. That sounds awesome! Oh, I'm so happy to finally meet you, Dad. I've wanted to for so long, and now my dream has come true! I just want to spend all day with you, doing activities together. I don't even care what we do, as long as I'm spending time with you. Aww, that's so sweet! Aw, oh, you really are my son. Aw, oh, that's so cute. Ah, uh, well, I mean, really, all I want to do is spend time with you, too, so... Uh, I don't really care what we do, either, but... Let me think. I don't want to take you inside, I mean, what are we going to do inside? Do math problems? No. My son deserves better than that. You deserve to have some fun with your old man! <sighs> Alright. I know where, we, where I could take you. Okay. Follow me, Pat. We're going to Jellyfish Fields! All right, Pat, I'm gonna try to toss this one to you gently, okay? Keep your hands up and get ready to catch it. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry, I overthrew that one a little bit. All right, here we go, one more. Ah, oh, dang it, Ah, oh, that was way too low. All right, sorry, Pat. I know you're probably a pretty good catcher, but uh, your old man's throwing arm isn't quite like it used to be. All right, here we go, how about... There you go, oh, you caught that one too. Very good, Pat. All right, here we go. How about a few more? Right to you. Good. 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 Fantastic. All right, how about a pop fly? This is back from my baseball days, all right? I'm gonna throw this one way up in the air. And... Oof, that was way too far. Okay, my bad, my bad. All right, how about this one? Oh! Ah! Ooh, almost hit me in the face. Okay, all right, that was a bad toss too. All right, here we go. This is the one, right here. And... Nope, that was also way off. Okay, you know what, maybe my pop flies aren't quite like they used to be, so I'm just gonna toss a few up in the air, and hopefully one of them goes right to you. Oh, I think I saw one! I think you caught one of them! Yes! Good job, Pat! Very good! Ooh, at this rate, you're gonna be a, a pro baseball player one day or something. Ooh, that would be nice, to have a son that's actually successful at something. That'd be pretty cool, actually. As long as you don't forget about me when you're famous, all right? Okay, well, we're out of snowballs, so 
I guess we're done with the father-son catching time. Um, how about instead we do... <gasps> oh, I know! We could go look at some clouds! Yes! We can look at cloud shapes and try to guess what they are. Ah, alright. Well, look up with me here. Um, ooh! That cloud looks like a jellyfish! Oh, and so does that one! And that one! And that one, too! Oh, wow, they all look like jellyfish! Or wait, maybe those actually are just jellyfish. Okay, uh, my bad. Um, let me look for the real clouds. Uh, oh, there's one! Uh, that cloud looks like, uh, that kinda looks like Squidward, actually. And, oh, and that cloud looks like Spongebob, kinda. And that looks like, mmm, that cloud looks like a Krabby Patty. And, oh, over there, that cloud looks like... Wait a minute. There are no clouds in the sky right now. Oh, wow. Okay, I feel, uh, pretty dumb, to be honest with you, Pat. Um, I'm usually smarter than this, uh, so don't think that I'm just some dumb idiot that lives under a rock, because, I mean, I am an idiot that lives under a rock, I guess, but I'm not a dumb idiot that lives under a rock, okay? You know, I'm just, uh, kind of bad sometimes at certain things. Um, oh, wow, there really are no clouds. I was really just looking up at the sky, saying... <sighs> random shapes. Okay, well, that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, Pat, I just want to tell you that I really hope you turn out smarter than me someday. It wouldn't be saying much. I mean, as long as you can do simple math and understand that there are no clouds in the sky, then I think you'll be doing okay. But... Uh, what's wrong, Pat? You haven't said a single word since you've been out here. Aren't you having fun? Yeah, I am. And I like spending time with you, but... I'm just a little bored. Well, come on, don't you find this stuff fun? I mean, we're playing father-son, you know, throwing and catching, and we're looking up at cloud shapes. I mean, this is classic father-son stuff. This is classic bonding time for us. I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I thought you would find this stuff fun. Yeah, I guess. I just thought we were gonna do more fun stuff. Okay, well, we can do some more fun stuff. I mean, we don't have to play catch or look at clouds. I mean, uh, how, oh, I know. How about we have some real father-son talk, you know? You know, I can give you some advice, and, you know, we can just talk about real issues or, you know, any questions you have about life. I mean, I'm glad to share some of my life expertise with you. Okay, we could do that. What do you want to talk about? Hmm... What do fathers and sons usually talk about? Well... Oh! We could talk about girls! I could give you some advice about girls and, uh, you know, I mean, I know you're kind of young still right now, but... I mean, in a few years, you're gonna get to that age where you're gonna start, you know, really talking to girls and, you know, you're gonna start dating them and having relationships and whatnot. And then at some point, you're gonna get so old that you're gonna settle down and marry some girl and... Then you're gonna have kids of your own and oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm just tearing up over here thinking oh They grow up so fast. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, Seriously, I mean I, I could give you some advice on girls if you want Do you even have any experience with girls? No offense. I'm only 10, but I feel like I've probably talked to more girls than you have Ha I doubt that Pat. Ha I have plenty of experience with girls. I mean, I haven't really talked to that many girls in Bikini Bottom. I mean, I've kind of just been focused on other things, like eating Krabby Patties and sleeping and hanging out with Spongebob and stuff. But I mean, heck, back in New Kelp City, I had tons of girlfriends. I mean, I was a real ladies' man out there, Pat, let me tell you. I mean, they were really into me. All I'd have to do is walk up to a girl and be like, Hey, how you doing? And instantly, they'd fall in love with me. I was just that smooth, Pat. Ah, <sighs> actually, I'm getting kind of sad. I'm remembering about this one girl that I was with before I left New Kelp City, and I had to end things with her because I moved to Bikini Bottom. And it was pretty tough. But you know what, Pat? You gotta move on with that kind of stuff, you know? But, okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm getting off topic again, but uh, trust me, I have plenty of experience with girls, okay? Probably more than you have. Okay, well, what advice do you have? Well... Actually, now that I think about it, Squidward taught me recently that if a girl rejects you, it's not because she doesn't like you and she doesn't want to be with you. It's most likely because 
she thinks that you're just too attractive for her. And uh, according to Squidward, this is what Squidward told me, and Squidward is also uh, a pretty good ladies' man, so I trust his judgment. Squidward told me that if a girl, that most girls want to be with someone that's less attractive than them, so they can feel like they're the attractive one of the couple. You see what I'm saying? So if a girl ever rejects you and says that you're ugly, just know it's not because you're ugly, especially because you look just like me, so there's no way you could look ugly, but it's not because you're ugly, it's because she just doesn't think she could be good enough to be with you. You're just that attractive, okay? So remember that one, Pat, okay? Remember that for the future. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, yeah, um, just another thing. Squitter didn't teach me this, but I learned this from my time in New Kelp City, okay? No matter how many times a girl rejects you, even if she says she doesn't like you at all, or she doesn't even want to be friends with you, or... Maybe she says she even hates you. Know that she's probably just playing hard to get, and so you should still keep asking her out repeatedly until eventually they're gonna say yes, okay? I remember one time I asked this girl out probably 30 times over the course of like maybe a week, and she kept saying no every time, and then eventually she finally said yes because I was annoying her. And we went out on a date, and uh, the rest is history. And I guess by history, I guess I mean that it didn't work out between us because now I'm here with you. And I think she got a restraining order on me after that date. But uh, it doesn't matter. You know what? Let's um, let's get away from the girl talk. I mean, you got plenty of time to learn some stuff on your own. Um, how about I talk to you about... Uh, oh, I can teach you how to shave. I mean, you're probably getting to that age soon where you're going to have to shave, right? I don't need to shave yet, Dad. Besides, when I do need to learn, I can probably just like a vivid look up a video on YouTube for it. Okay, well, I'm not crazy about that, Pat. I mean, you are my son, and the house rules at my house are that we're only allowed to watch one channel on YouTube, and that's Funny Swirl, because Funny Swirl just has such amazing videos. They're so funny and cool, and oh, I love the stories that he has in his videos. Oh, they're just so well thought out. But, so, I mean, if you really want to learn how to shave, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna let you look up that on YouTube, okay? I mean, I've gotta have some rules in my house. I gotta monitor what you're watching on YouTube. And the only thing I like, I'm gonna allow my kid to watch is Funny Swirl, for obvious reasons, okay? So, anyway, I mean, I guess you'll probably, I could probably teach you how to shave the full proper way with a demonstration later on when you actually need to shave. But for right now, I can tell you that when you do shave, you want to make sure you, you use a lot of shaving cream. You want to just like throw that all over your face before you shave. Because one time I tried shaving without using shaving cream and oh, I hurt myself so bad. I was just leaving cuts and stuff in my, in my skin and in my face and oh, it was just so painful. So when you do shave, make sure you use shaving cream, okay? And make sure you do it nice and slow going down from the top of your face downward, okay? That's the right way to shave. Uh, all right, well, Anyway, I've taught you a little bit about girls, and I've taught you a little bit about how to shave. Um, is there anything else you want to know? Let me think. Well, it would be cool to learn how to drive. <sighs> I'm sorry, Pat. I, I can't teach you that yet. I mean, you're only 10 years old, and you got to be, like, 15 to start learning how to drive. Like, you know, actually being behind the wheel. So, I can't teach you that yet. And also, I'm probably not the best person to teach you how to drive. I mean, I did have my license at some point, but it turned out it was just uh, a piece of paper that someone gave me that said license. So uh, apparently I don't know how to drive as well as I thought I could. Um, but listen, I mean, you can't learn for a few years anyway. But for right now, I can tell you that uh, if you're driving ever, you know, in the future, and a cop is behind you, and they turn on the sirens, and they're trying to pull you over, then that means... You gotta step on the accelerator and book it. You gotta drive as fast as you can and try to get away from that cop, okay? I've had some experiences in the past, especially in New Kelp City, of driving around and, you know, cops trying to pull me over for uh, what they call speeding or for, you know, running a red light or things like that. But, I mean, that's all fooey, if you ask me. And besides, if they pull you over, they're probably gonna try to give you a ticket. And, I mean... I don't know about you, Pat, but I'm not the kind of guy that has enough money lying around to be paying tickets here and there, you know? Like, I gotta save that money for Krabby Patties and, you know, other important things. So, 
If a cop tries to pull you over, just drive away. You don't want to get that ticket. And especially if you can't pay that ticket, they're going to try to throw you in jail. And no son of mine is going to be a jailbird, okay? I will not have my son be in jail. All right? Just letting you know that right now. So uh, I hope this stuff has helped you a little bit. Uh, I hope you keep this in mind for when you actually learn how to drive. Huh. I never knew that. Thanks for the advice, Dad. Anyway, I was thinking, as much fun as father-son talk is, there's one thing I always wanted to do with my dad. Something that other kids always talked about doing, and it just made me so jealous. Well, of course, son. We can do whatever you want. What is it? Shopping! I've always wanted to go shopping with my dad. We could look at clothes, and you can help me pick some new outfits, or we could get some fun toys for me to play with. Wow, that, that does sound fun. And I could teach you a little bit about fashion sense. I mean, clearly you already have pretty good fashion sense with those green and purple shorts you're wearing, but I could probably get you some new outfits too, and some toys. Um, you know what? Sure, that sounds fun. Oh, and plus, while we're there, we'll probably have to go to the mall, so I can teach you how to haggle, and I can also teach you how to get stuff for free by, well, not stealing, per se, but through a little thing I like to call borrowing. You know, I can teach you some real life lessons that you can use later on. That sounds awesome. I don't have much money, so I would love for you to teach me how to get stuff for free. Plus, it should be a great bonding experience for us. Oh, Dad, I'm so happy you're such a cool parent. I love you. Aww, thank you, Pat. I love you too. And you know what? I am definitely a cool parent, but you're also a really cool son. You know that? I mean, you're related to me, so you must be pretty darn cool. So cool that I'm not going to let you be standing here bored talking about father-son stuff, okay? I'm going to take you somewhere you really want to go. So, let's go shopping at the mall. Jeez, when I told Pat we could go to the mall, I didn't expect him to just run off like that way ahead of me. Ugh, I guess I'm just not as fast as I used to be. But it's nice to know that Pat is more of an athlete than I am. I mean, he beat me here by a mile for sure. What What the heck? What, a guard? And he's talking to Pat? Hey, what's going on here? Wh why are you talking to my son? My kid didn't do anything wrong. Uh, explain yourself. Oh no, you didn't catch him stealing anything, did you? Hey, I don't know what you're thinking, but my son is no thief, all right? So leave him alone. Calm down, your son didn't do anything wrong. I was just telling him that he can't go upstairs. What? Why not? I've never heard of that rule before. Well, we've had a lot of reports of people stealing things from this mall. As such, the manager asked me to be on the lookout for shoplifters. He also asked me not to let any kids upstairs. All of the items upstairs are very expensive, so he doesn't want any kids up there playing with anything or messing any items up. Okay, I mean... I guess that makes sense. So, wait, so I'm still allowed up there then? Yes, of course. Adults are allowed to shop throughout the whole store. Oh, good, good. Okay, well, then I guess I could just leave Pat down here while I do some shopping upstairs. Um, hey, say, just out of curiosity, um, I know you're a guard and you're obviously guarding the downstairs area, but, uh... There wouldn't happen to be any guards upstairs looking around at stuff, uh, too, would there? Nope, it's just me. The manager couldn't afford to hire more than one guard. Wait, why are you asking? You're not planning on stealing anything, are you? Oh, no, no, of course not! How dare you accuse me of such a vile act as stealing things from the mall? No, 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 I'm not that kind of guy. You got the wrong guy, all right? I'm just a guy here with my son, trying to buy him some stuff and make him happy, all right? All right, well, Pat, uh, I'm sorry, but according to this guy, we, uh, I can't take you upstairs with me, so I guess I'll just do some shopping, and um, I think I know you pretty well, so I think I know what you'll like, and uh, I'll be back to show you what I, what I buy later on, okay? After I'm done shopping. All right, just stay right here with the nice security guard, and uh, please don't try to steal anything or make a mess of anything, please. I have enough problems with the people that run this mall, okay? All right, let's see. What can I buy Pat? 
Now, the security guard said that everything they have right now is really expensive. Uh... Well, this doesn't look that expensive to me. But I don't want to buy any animals for Pat. No, I don't think... I don't think he needs a pet right now. I think he could probably do without that for right now. Ugh, all the work that goes into having a pet. Ugh, yeah, I'm already... I'm already accepting the fact that I'm gonna have to do more work as a dad now. Oh, there's no way I can own a pet, too. No, them, I'm sorry. We can do that later if he really wants one. Um, ooh, fancy outfits. $500 each. Okay, well, I told Pat I would get him some new, uh, some new duds. So, let's see what we're working with here. Ooh, I like all this stuff. No wonder it's $500 each. This is all really nice. Ooh, a full set of emerald armor. Ooh, if Pat ever needs to go fight someone, he can wear this. And he can look stylish, too. I mean, this is some really stylish armor. Okay, so I guess I'll, I'll grab all of that. Um, ooh, a ninja outfit. Ooh, and Halloween is coming up. Oh, yes, I can take him trick-or-treating with me. That'd be so fun. Uh, okay, well, yeah, that probably works. Oh, and, oh, and if he ever needs to do any stealth missions with his old man, I mean, I can put on my ninja outfit and he can put on his and we can do stealth missions together. Ooh, that'd be so fun. Um, okay, I guess this could be another outfit for Halloween, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll save the, the ninja outfit for our stealth missions and I'll, he could be a wizard for Halloween. That'd probably be pretty fun. I could see us having a good time with that. Um... Ooh, a full tuxedo outfit. Oh, yeah, that'll be good for when we need to go uh, for fancy occasions, you know? If we ever have to go to a nice restaurant or um, maybe, who knows, maybe I get married someday. We'll need a tuxedo for all that. Okay, that's good, that's good. I'm getting him some, some useful armor for if he never needs to fight anyone. And I got him some stealth attire and a Halloween outfit and uh, an outfit if he ever needs to dress up fancy for something. Okay, okay, this is looking good. Um, ooh, a crown! Yeah, I bet he'd like one of those, too. I mean, he is my son, so... I mean, like father, like son. He is a king. Alright, perfect. And... Diamond skirt. Okay, well, I mean... I guess I don't know Pat all that well yet, so... I guess it's possible that he'd want a diamond skirt. I mean... You never know what he's into, I guess. I don't know. Uh. You know what, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just leave that behind for now. If Pat really wants a diamond skirt later on, then he can ask me for a diamond skirt, and I'll buy him a skirt. But for right now, I think these outfits will do just fine. Okay, perfect. What else do we got here? Some healthy food? Ugh, healthy food? What kind of a father would I be if I got my kid some healthy food? He should be on the strict diet of Krabby Patties and French fries and soda. Although... Now that I think about it, I mean, buying him some healthy food would probably make me a, a better dad, a more responsible dad. I mean, I want my kid to grow up healthy and big and strong, so <sighs> maybe I should have given him some healthy food too. This will just balance out the Krabby Patties that I feed him whenever we go to the Krusty Krab. So this will just be the healthy food that he eats from time to time. Okay. All right. Well, an apple is certainly healthy. Uh, grapes are healthy. Okay. Got some fruit. An apple pie. Oh, an apple pie is healthy. I mean, it's practically just an apple, but, I mean, just made into a pie. So, okay, that's some healthy stuff, too. Uh, some rabbit stew. Okay, I'm sure that's good for, I don't know, maybe his bones or something? Or maybe his digestive system? I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure it's healthy. It's in the healthy food bin. Let's see, we got, okay, a carrot. We got some vegetables, too. A melon. We have some more fruit. And a slice of bread. I don't really know how a slice of bread is healthy, but I guess maybe I can make a sandwich out of it with some of the other foods here. I could probably combine it with maybe some grapes and the carrot, and I can make, uh, or no, maybe I'll combine it with the grapes and the apple and maybe the melon too, and I can make some kind of like peanut butter jelly sandwich, except uh, I guess without the peanut butter, just with all the jelly. Okay, a jelly sandwich. I bet that'd be pretty good actually. Okay, okay. I'm starting to learn what it's like to be a responsible father. I'm buying my kid some healthy food. Make sure he grows up healthy. Okay, okay. Valuable minerals. $10,000 each. Woo, that's expensive. Way beyond my budget of... Well, I don't have any money, so I guess my budget is $0. But let's see what they have in here. Ooh, they have diamonds and emeralds and gold bars and... 
something called a nether star. Ooh, it's really shiny though. Oh, this must all be really valuable stuff. I mean, it's $10,000 $10, a piece, so this must be some really good stuff. Okay, well, I don't really know what my kid would do with any of this stuff, but... Oh, I know! When my kid goes to school, he can show off all these things to all of his friends. And he can show off what a cool dad he has. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yes. And he can bring this in for show and tell maybe sometime. He can bring in the Nether Star, and all the kids will be really impressed. And they'll think that I'm some kind of rich billionaire or something that can afford to buy his kid all these valuable things. Even though, in reality, I'm just some guy that lives under a rock. And I'm just trying to borrow these things. But, I mean, as long as they think I'm rich, and they think that Pat's rich, they'll respect him. Alright, uh, what else do they have here? Lucky Charm? One million dollars? Wow, what, what kind of item could this be? Oh wow, it really is just... A lucky charm. Huh. Well, it is a million dollars, but... I mean, if I could get Pat some kind of lucky charm, and it promises to give him extra luck for the rest of his life, then I'd be a bad father not to buy him this, right? I mean, I want my kid to be lucky and live a lucky life. I want him to be happy. So, yeah, you know what? I'll buy one of these too. You know, for the heck of it. All right, what else do they have? Oh, the toys bin! Finally! I know Pat was asking for some toys, and they're only $200 each. Compared to the million dollars I spent on the Lucky Charm, that's quite the steal. All right, what do they have in here? Okay, okay, they have a guitar in here. I could teach I could teach Pat how to play the guitar, or I guess not teach him myself, but I'm sure he could learn to play the guitar one day. Okay, that sounds good. Um, a phone. Hmm, do I want to get my 10-year-old kid a phone just yet? Maybe he's a little young for that right now. Uh, but you know, all the other kids probably have phones, so I don't want him to be left out. Uh, yeah, okay, you know, I'm gonna get him a phone. He can play some Angry Birds on there, too. Okay, um, oh, I can get him some, is this, oh, this is play money. Yeah, this is just fake money. But, oh, I can get the fake money to teach him about the value of money, you know? Okay, that's good. I can teach him some stuff about that. Maybe some math, too. I could teach him, you know, one dollar plus a dollar equals... Uh, I just did this earlier. Uh, Two dollars, I'm pretty sure. Yes, okay, that math sounds right. Um, a USB stick? Um, I don't know what he would do with this, but... I mean, I guess maybe I could download some games and put that on the USB stick for him. Uh, or maybe... Oh, better idea! I could download some funny stroll videos and I could put that on here and then we can watch them together on the big screen. At Spongebob's house. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, perfect. Uh, a tablet. I don't know what the heck you would do with a tablet. Except, I guess I could teach him how to read off this tablet. I mean, it looks like there's some words etched in there, so... Okay, I guess I could use that to teach him about that. Um, a ring. Uh, I don't know how a ring classifies as a toy. But, I mean, it would probably go well with some of his outfits I have here. I mean, yeah, when he wears his tuxedo, he could probably wear that ring and look extra fancy. Okay, all right, I'll get him some bling. Get him that ring. Ooh, Ryman, accidentally. Um, and then a skull. Okay, I hope this isn't a real skull. I hope this is just a, a fake skull. I don't know what my kid would do with that. It seems kind of dark. Um, except, I mean, I guess I could teach him about the cycle of life. You know, the circle of life. I mean, first you're born and then you die. Okay, I guess I could use that to teach him about some, some more life lessons, maybe. Um, anything else they have? Books! $30 each. Pugh. Uh, my kid will not be a kid that reads books. Uh, you know, now that I think about it, uh, maybe I should be a responsible dad and get my kid a book, you know? I mean, heck, maybe he likes to read. I mean, I don't know. I mean, but I wouldn't want to discourage him from reading if that's what he wants to do. And they're only 30 bucks each, which is way too much for a book, which is just some pieces of paper with words on it. But, I mean, compared to the other stuff I bought, I guess it's pretty cheap. All right, well, what books do they have? Okay, they have Harry Potter, uh, The Hungry Games, Dog in the Fog, and Jimbo's Wild Journey. Okay, well, these all sound pretty boring if you ask me, but if I'm gonna go with any of them, then I guess I'll get Jimbo's Wild Journey. 
I mean, it's probably not about my friend Jimbo, but I mean, I guess it's possible. I mean, that's the only one that sounds interesting out of all the books in here, so. All right, well, I think I've done my job as a father. I've gotten my kid some new outfits. I've gotten him some healthy food. I've gotten in some fancy minerals to show off to his classmates and for show and tell. I got him a lucky charm so that he always has luck on his side. And I got him some toys that he can play with and learn some life skills from. And to top it all off, I even got him a book so that he can do some reading and maybe try to be more educated than I am someday, which would not be that hard. Okay, well, uh, I think I've gotten everything I need to from up here. Yeah, I don't think I want to take any of these pets home with me today. Uh, I'll ask him if he wants one later, and if he wants one, we can come back. But for right now, I probably got all the things that I need. Yeah, he can't even drive yet, so I'm not buying him that car. All right, well, I think I've got a pretty good collection here. All right, Pat, I'm done shopping, and I think I've got some stuff you might like. Wow, that all looks great. It all looks really expensive, too. How do you plan on paying for all that? I thought you didn't have a job. Well, I don't, but you don't need a job to get stuff for free at the mall, okay? Watch how your old man gets it done. I'm gonna show you exactly how to haggle and how to quote-unquote borrow stuff the right way, okay? So make sure you pay attention. I wouldn't want you to miss all these invaluable life skills that I'm teaching you. Okay, show me how it's done. All right, I will, Pat. Just for you, buddy. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Cashier. Uh, ring me up, please. I would like to buy all of the items that I have with me. Oh, no. No, 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 no! You've taken enough things from this store without paying, but no longer. I hired that security guard just because of you. But clearly, he isn't doing a very good job because you're still here bothering me. What? Well, I don't know why you can say that I take stuff without paying. I mean... I've never taken anything without paying. See, I'm simply just borrowing a few things here and there. But, I mean, I always come back and return it at some point. When have you ever brought anything back? You're not a borrower. You're just a thief. And I don't like thieves in my store. Now, get out of here. Oh, please, sir. Uh, I mean, if you won't let me borrow it, then at least let me try to haggle to bring the price down. Haggle? What money do you have to haggle with? You're just some jobless loser. Besides, all the stuff is so expensive, we don't know all haggling for these items. Well, you say that now, but wait till you see my haggling skills, okay? I'm sure we can come to an agreement for uh, a lower price, okay? So, at least let me try, all right? Um, to start, uh, what would my total be for all of these items, you know, without haggling? Well, thanks to that expensive lucky charm, your total is a little over $1 million. Hmm, okay, that's pretty steep. Okay, well, I've got a better offer for you. How about uh, $100,000? No. Okay, then how about $1,000? No. Okay, you're, you're driving a hard bargain here, but I'm, I'm willing to play ball. Okay, fine. You won't accept a hundred thousand. You won't accept a thousand. Then my final offer is zero dollars. No. How many times do I have to tell you no? Oh, come on, sir. Please. Uh, uh, my son is over there, and uh, I need to buy these things for him so I look like a cool and responsible dad. And I don't want to let him down, so. Please, can you just let me have this stuff for now? Wow, I never knew you had a kid. I have one myself, actually. A little boy, only four years old. <sighs> Being a parent is tough, huh? Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, I gotta pick him up from soccer practice sometimes, and I gotta make sure he gets his homework done, and uh, I gotta be a, a good father, and I wanna buy him stuff and make him happy, but... I mean, you also gotta be disciplined sometimes, because you just want them to be successful, you know, and you want them to live a good life. <sighs> yeah, being a parent is really tough. I would know. Uh, but please, sir, I mean, you're a father. You understand where I'm coming from. <sighs> One father to another. Can you please let me have this stuff and let me impress my kid? I mean, 
I don't want him thinking that I'm just some kind of jobless loser, like you called me. I want him to think that he has a really fun and cool dad, and a dad that can get him things and make him happy. I mean, that's all I want. I just want my son to be happy. <sighs> well, I wouldn't want your kid to be disappointed by his loser of a father. <sighs> Fine. You can have all these items if you promise to return it bright and early tomorrow morning. If you don't, I'll send my security guard to your house to collect it all. Plus, you'll be banned from this mall forever. Okay, you have a deal. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you won't regret this, uh, sir, please. Uh, I swear, I'll bring them right back here tomorrow. Okay, but you'd better not go back on your promise. Trust me, sir, I won't. As one father to another, I swear to you that I will have these items back here tomorrow morning, okay? Uh, and, and again, thank you so much. My kid really will be really happy. And uh, good luck raising your own kid, okay? Uh, thank you so much. Whew. Well, I played that pretty well. Psst. Hey, Pat, I got the stuff. Yeah, I got it for free. Okay, but uh, we should probably get out of here ASAP before they change their mind, okay? So, let's get going. Okay, Pat, I know we've done a lot of fun things today, like playing catch and, you know, looking up at clouds and having some father-son talk, and I even took you shopping because you asked for it, but now it's time for me to be a responsible parent and uh, teach you some stuff, okay? So, I'm gonna teach you some math, and it's some math that I learned earlier today, and I just want to pass down uh, some of these skills to you so that you're better prepared for life, okay? I don't really know how important math is in life, but, I mean, Dr. Mr. Professor, Professor Fish told me that uh, it's apparently pretty useful and important. So, I figured I should probably teach you some of that stuff too, okay? I gotta be a responsible parent. I gotta, uh, I gotta discipline you a little. You know, it can't just be all fun and games. Got to teach you some boring stuff too, okay? So, I'm just going to do a few math problems for you here, just to show you how it's done. Okay, and you're only 10, so hopefully my math is still a little better than yours, I would hope. Though it's entirely possible it's not, but still. Okay, um, here's what I do know. I know that 1 plus 1 equals 2, and I know that 50 divided by 5 equals... Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like 80. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then 42 minus uh, 42 equals, this is a trick question actually, uh, so pay attention. 42 minus 42 actually equals X. I'm pretty sure I learned that from Mr. Fish as well. What? Who could that be at this late hour? I'm trying to teach my kid about math. Okay. Fine, I'll go see who it is. Stay right there, Pat. And, uh, you know, uh, hold on to this and just, uh, you know, work through some of those problems and try to come up with some of your own, okay? Can you do that for me? All right, cool. I'll go see who it is. I'll tell him to go home and let us have our math teaching session in peace. <gasps> what? Who the heck are you guys? You, you kind of look like me. I haven't seen many other fellow starfish in Bikini Bottom, but who the heck are you guys? Hi. We don't mean to bother you, but we've been looking everywhere for our son, Pat. We've asked around town, and we were told by the cashier at the mall that he was with some starfish that lives under a rock. So, here we are. Is he with you? Uh, yeah, Pat is with me inside. We're actually just doing some math right now, but uh, I think you're mistaken. I mean, Pat's my son. Uh, I just met him today, and we figured out that I was his long-lost dad. Your son? Ha, that's funny. Let me guess. Pat told you he was an orphan that never met his parents, and that he came looking for you because you looked alike and so you might be his dad? That's exactly right. How did you know that? Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but he's done this kind of thing many times before with other starfish. It happens whenever we ground him. He always runs away, finds an unsuspecting starfish, and tells them that he's their long lost son. At first we thought he was doing it simply to rebel against us, but we've come to learn that the real reason is so he can get free stuff. I assume he's already asked you to take him shopping, and you bought him a ton of nice things? 
yeah, uh, I did. Oh, wow. This is all so confusing. Uh, I mean, I guess if you say you're his dad, then you're probably right. But, I mean, I'm having a hard time believing he's not my son. I mean, he loves Krabby Patties just like I do. And uh, he likes to sleep all day and just talk with his friends. I mean, he sounds just like me, so... I mean, are you sure he's not my son? Well, I'm sorry, but you're not his dad. Just one of his victims. If you need full proof that we're his actual parents, we'd be happy to get you a copy of his birth certificate. No, no. I, I believe you, I guess. I'm just... I'm just in shock, honestly. I mean, before today, I never could have dreamed that I was a parent, and... Then today, he, he told me that I was his dad, and I, I didn't really believe him, but... I mean, it started to make sense, and... I don't know, I mean... I guess I'm just confused. I went from not being a dad to being a dad to not being a dad all in one day. Yes, I'm sure this is all a roller coaster of emotions for you. Happens to everyone he does this to. I bet you were excited that you had a son you never knew about. So I'm sorry that it was all a giant lie. Really, I do apologize for Pat's behavior. We raised him better than this. And we're going to make sure he doesn't do this to anyone else again. Uh, it's okay. I mean... I was excited about being a parent, but uh, after today and after thinking about it a little bit, I probably wouldn't be a great parent anyway. I mean, I feel like I'd be good at buying my kids stuff and, you know, being a fun parent, but I, I probably wouldn't be a very good disciplined and responsible parent. I mean, heck, I don't even have a job and I'm probably not even a good role model, so uh, I mean, maybe it's for the best that I'm not a dad. That's the right attitude to have. Many people are crushed when they find out the truth, so I'm glad you're taking it so well. If you were more bummed, I would feel just awful about the whole thing. Still though, I'm so sorry that our son lied to you like that. Uh, it's no problem, really. I mean, at the very least, uh, I had a good day with him. I didn't have any other plans today, so it was fun spending time with him and you know, just doing some fun father-son stuff together even if it was all a lie. Uh, but, I mean, you shouldn't be sorry. If anyone should be sorry, I should be sorry. I mean, I stole your son for the whole day and you were probably worried sick about him. So, uh, I'm really sorry. I just feel terrible. Oh, it's not your fault. Besides, if you went shopping, I'm sure he had a fun day without us. Thank you for taking care of our son for the day. Now, about Pat, it's probably time we get going. He has school bright and early tomorrow morning, and he still has homework to do. Can you get him, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll go get him. Uh, we were just doing some math, actually, so, uh, hopefully when he goes to school tomorrow, he'll, you know, have a few extra, uh, little bits of knowledge about math, and he'll be more prepared. But, uh, really, I'm so sorry about this whole situation. It was... I really thought I was his dad. I... Uh, I feel... I feel terrible, but... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll just go get him, okay? I'll... Yeah. Hey, Pat, buddy! Um, there's a couple people at the door, and we just had a, an interesting discussion. Apparently, they're your real parents, which means that all of today you were lying to me about being my son? Oh, well, this is awkward. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just wanted to get away from my parents and have a fun day with someone cooler than them. It's okay, buddy. I understand. I mean, I am pretty cool after all. Besides, I mean, it wasn't all that bad. I had a fun time with you, you know, being your pretend father for a day and doing some fun father-son activities like, you know, having some, some real talk about girls and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we played catch and we got to look at clouds together and... I even had someone to go shopping with me for the first time ever, so it wasn't all that bad. But listen, I mean, we had a fun day, but now it's probably time that you go back with your real parents, okay? Yeah, you're right. It's time I go home. Seriously though, I had a really great time hanging out with you today. I'm just sad it's over. Especially because now I have to go do homework. Well, 
I mean, Pat, this doesn't have to be the last time we see each other. I mean, I'm sure at some point when you have a day off from school and, well, I would say when I have a day off from work, but I'm free most of the time. So, I mean, if there's ever a time that, you know, you're not busy with school and, you know, you're not doing anything else, then maybe we can hang out again and do some more father-son activities. I mean, obviously I'm not your real dad, but I could be your fake dad and you could be my fake son. Uh, would you like that? I'd really like that, fake dad. You know, despite what you think, I actually think you'd make a pretty great parent. Really? You think so? Why is that? Because you're super fun and willing to buy your kid a bunch of stuff. And isn't that all you need to be a good parent? Well, there's probably more to it than that. Uh, I mean, there's probably, you know, a good parent is probably also responsible and disciplined and, you know, but thank you for those kind words. And, you know, now that I think about it, uh, about those things I bought you, uh, I kind of made a deal with the cashier that I would return all the stuff tomorrow morning. So, uh, just, you know, so that I don't go to jail or anything. Uh, could I have those things back, possibly? Actually, Jack, would it be okay for me to hold on to this stuff? I just... <laughs> I just... I just want to make sure I never forget you. Every time I look at these items you bought me, I'll remember that cool starfish named Jack Star that lives under a rock. Well, I wouldn't want you to forget about me. Uh, okay. You can keep them. Well, I guess this is goodbye, Pat. Uh, again, I really had a good time with you today, even though you lied to me. And, uh, listen, I, I know you're not actually my son, but before you go, let me give you one last piece of advice, okay? From the heart. I know right now you're young, and you're probably thinking about how cool it would be to be an adult and to be able to do all those fun adult things like driving and, you know, having girlfriends and stuff like that. But... I mean, I want you to also remember that, I mean, you're only a kid once, and I wouldn't want you to be thinking about being an adult when you're a kid, and you should be enjoying just being a kid. I mean, right now, I mean, you don't have any responsibilities, and I mean, all you're supposed to do as a kid, like, your, your whole job is just to have fun. So, I don't want you focusing too much about being an adult, and I mean, besides, being an adult isn't even that fun, I mean... Sure, it's cool in some ways, but you also have to pay taxes, and you have to, you know, you have actual real responsibilities, like grocery shopping, and, you know, at some point maybe you have a kid of your own, you gotta take care of them and all that, and I just don't want you to grow up too soon, okay? So, can you promise me that you'll take advantage of being kid as much as you can? Thank you, Jack. I won't forget your wise words. Goodbye. For now. Goodbye for now, Pat. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna cry if I keep looking at you, so... Uh, uh, please, uh, just go. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna head to bed now and... Uh, uh, just see yourself out. Oh, I'm sad, but... I'm also... Happy. I mean... I... I didn't think I'd be a great dad anyway, so... It's probably for the best. You know what? Maybe one day I'll have a kid of my own, and maybe by then I'll be a better parent. I'll be more prepared to be a good parent. I tell you though, when I do have a kid, I want him to be just like Pat. That'd be nice. All right, well, it's been a long day. I should probably get some sleep. Oh, and now that I think about it, tomorrow's probably gonna be an even longer day. I mean, I'm gonna have to go to the mall and explain to that cashier that I don't have any of those items that I promised I'd bring back. But, you know what? That's a problem for tomorrow. So, I'll deal with that later. <laughs>